Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Aleshna Ostoya and today we are going to build a aviary. Yes, very exciting. Um, yeah, it's the first time I'm gonna try to do that. I've never built a aviary before in Planet Zoo. Um, but yeah, I, I think birds really need to be in this place and uh, while I was building this I decided that this was gonna be a aviary for some owls and i'm not sure which exact owl species it is but i found some cool props on the workshop um so it's not a mod or anything there's not going to be any moving animals inside this aviary um but there will be some in uh in the next episode that i will uh, i will do on this series so if you're new to this series this is a collaboration project between me and the waterfall leader or leader and um, yeah, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, uh, make sure to check them out. There's a playlist on my channel, uh, which links to all the episodes. This is episode number, I don't know, five, I think. Um, and we are going to try to finish up this project before Christmas. And then at Christmas, we are going to decorate it and make a nice Christmas, Christmas special with like lights and trees and nice things and gifts and santa claus and um, everything you think about when you think about christmas so that's what we're gonna do but in the meantime we're gonna build a nice little petting zoo uh, which is located right next to a nature reserve uh, which is called Reservat Lesna Ostoya uh, which is a wonderful polish name uh, because this is yeah, based in, in, uh, in Poland uh, so we're trying to Feast some nice Polish architecture, a lot of wood that we are using in this project and as you can see another wooden building. Over here I'm trying to use a lot of detail, I used uh, the wall uh, like this little uh, thing on the bottom uh, that Lila already created in the previous episode. I thought it was really nice and uh, it would be a nice detail on this building as well and then the walls itself also all made out of wood. As you can see, the uh, the habitat itself, like the, the habitat borders and null barriers, yeah, they, they don't make a lot of sense in this project. This is not really a usable zoo in the end, but it will be on a workshop just for you guys to roam around and see what we did and uh, hopefully enjoy uh, the, the beautiful builds uh, in there. So this uh, this project, the this aviary, in the end, there are going to be three different aviaries in this area. So what I'm doing right now is building the middle one and then on the... Like on the left and on the right side of this building there will be another aviary and then on the uh, there will be an interior on this building and also uh, i will do a little backstage area on the on the back of the building uh, that will all be in the next episode i didn't want to make like this uh, incredibly long episode again i think this one is again like 10 10 12 minutes something like that i think that's perfect for a, a little speed build that we are doing right now and uh, we will finish up the outside of the building uh, the nice structure and we will do one of the avi aviaries which will uh, be for the owls and then in the ex next episode you will see some moving animals because i already have a couple of ideas how i'm gonna implement some of the bird species that we have in the game and pretend they are some other species so um if you already have an idea of what i'm gonna do let me know down in the comments see if you can guess it because yeah in the previous episode we made a guinea pig enclosure and we have actual guinea pigs in there i mean i'm not even a modder there are no mods installed but i still am making animals that we don't have in the game uh, that's that's very exciting i think um yeah these beautiful structures trying to make it look uh, as interesting as possible although it's just a wooden structure just some differences in uh, in the levels of of the wooden layers you can see very nice it looks much more interesting than just one thick wooden pillar uh, so i'm moving a lot of these pieces the um the, the, the 3d gizmo is not really uh, working with me at the moment uh, in this project because of all these small wooden beams and things that we are doing it's really uh, really a struggle sometimes but uh, some some things i just fix off camera and i don't want to bother you guys with that and uh, i try to only show you guys interesting stuff like fixing up the back of this building i did do that but i cut it out and uh, fixing the other side for example i also cut that out but i just quickly want to show you guys for example how i do this with the walls 
Um, very easy, of course, but um, yeah, I just make sure that I have one wall piece that I can use all over the place. Then, of course, some gutters because in Poland it is raining a lot, so we need some uh, gutter pieces right over here. Nice little detail for uh, the building, and uh, it didn't really fit here, so I had to be a little bit creative, as you can see with the one meter piece. It doesn't really fit, but I think that also looks Polish, you know, not not like perfectly attached now a little bit worn and a little bit uh yeah, macgyvering with the um, with the gutter pieces over here um yeah the building itself again more wood a lot of wood and then we are starting on the surrounding area and with the aviary itself the aviary is going to be a really simple structure it's going to be a wooden structure and then we will have some uh, mesh fencing all around so the birds can't escape i'm not really thinking about size or animal welfare i do see quite a bit of like all owl owl yes very good uh aviaries in zoos that are not that big i'm not sure how big they should be or anything uh so don't uh, don't don't start hating me for making it too small or anything i just try to make something realistic and um, but still looks nice and at for me, it's also like a quite an old fashioned kind of thing with all the wooden structures and stuff. So, um, yeah, I, I think it turns out pretty nice in the end. I'm using these uh, little fence pieces just to make it look a bit more realistic. Like the mesh fence is attached to the wood, but not like, I don't know, glued to it. But it has like this uh, this metal thing that where it is attached to. Then on the bottom, it's not just in the ground, but with this nice little stone trim where the mesh fences are attached to. Then we have some nice structures where the owls can uh, can sit on and chill and relax. And then um, I will also make some nice beams with some rope pieces on it. I saw that on a couple of reference images I found on some of the owl exhibits I've seen. Um, it's probably better for their claws and nails or something. I don't know. Um, adding some rope pieces just to make it look, uh, I don't know, a little bit more messy and uh, interesting. Making sure it looks like it's attached to something with this little bracket. And I will also do that with this uh, with this nice little rope piece. Then we have some rocks, of course. In every episode, you will see some rocks. Because rocks make things look interesting. I'm using a combination of the taiga and temperate. Uh, rocks, uh, just some small rock pieces. I will make this uh, habitat look a little bit overgrown. Just, you know, a lot of a lot of foliage in it, a lot of grass, a lot of like branches, uh, and there's even like an, an entire dead tree in it in the end. And uh, yeah, this is the spot that I was talking about, using the African branch over here uh, with some rope pieces, so the owls can sit here and uh, you know chill and. The, their claws won't be uh, 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 yes you know what I mean okay uh, the building finishing it up for now on this side but as I said in the next one we are gonna finish up the interior of it not sure how much I'm gonna do with the interior but like the other two aviaries on the sides we will definitely finish up that and make sure it looks nice uh, yeah so the entire dead tree I was talking about we will uh, we will add it over here. I think it looks uh, pretty nice. And uh, the, the habitat itself looks really full and, and lush and nice. And I think uh, you will see something like that. So yeah, that was uh, the blueprint I was talking about. Sorry, I forgot the name. Of, uh, but if you look for Owl, that's the first hit. And it even got like a four star rating. And it's really good. Uh, it has several species. You can choose whichever one you like. Uh, but I googled a bit and saw one that came from Poland and, and looked nice as well. So... Uh, that's the one I used. So for now we're gonna finish up the aviary. Add a lot of these uh, little uh, details. And that's already gonna be it for this episode. So uh, make sure you uh, are subscribed to Leader as well. Link down in the description. That will be for the next episode. We are trying to upload two videos a week on this one. And we might even go to three episodes a week. Uh, because we really want to finish it uh, before christmas so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit the like button if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do so you won't miss out on anything new and i'm gonna speak to you guys in the next one you you